It's been the running April Fool's joke for the past few years, and Crocs has finally cracked open streetwear. What's up guys, welcome back to the Sneaker News YouTube channel. Today we have a very special unboxing to show you guys, but before we get to that, please do me a favor and go right down there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I'll let you guys take a minute and hit that button. Thank you. So today we have this really nice package from A-Life. Uh, really good friends of ours, as you can see, A-Life Shop Art Museum. We kind of know what's in here already. It's their Crocs collab. Um, they sent us a message a few days ago and said that they were gonna send it over. Uh, here it is, really cool little package, pretty lightweight. For some of you guys who know the Crocs brand, uh, at least own a pair of them, um, you know that they're extremely lightweight. So. On the bottom of the box, copyright 1999, that's when A-Life was founded on the Low East Side, all rights reserved, and there's the uh, website there. Those of you guys who don't know A-Life, you guys should get to know them. Uh, one of the OGs in this game with a sneaker boutique in the Low East Side. Uh, later on, they opened the A-Life Rivington Club, which was the sneaker side of their brand, uh, where they sold a lot of the sneakers, and it's where we actually got a lot of the early sneaker news content. So those guys are really good friends of ours and we consider them our family. So uh, let's get to opening this box. So there you have it. This is the Crocs and A-Life collab, uh, you can see here the A-Life branding. There has been an open joke on the internet and all over the community about who will be the first brand to do a collab with Crocs. And not very surprisingly, it is A-Life. There's been rumors about Supreme, there's been rumors about even Bait doing a collab. And it turns out to be one of the OGs in the game, A-Life. Um, this is actually a very cool pair. There are three versions of it, starting with the art version, there is also the sport version, which has a sock on it, and there's also a classic version, which uh, has a life branding across the toe box over here. This version is the art version, which costs $600. So if you guys can imagine a shoe that usually costs $30, $40 is now $600, and you wonder why that is. This is actually more of an art piece than it is an actual wearable shoe. This guy comes with something called uh, gibbets. We've actually never really heard of that before, but it comes with uh, some art pieces in here so that way you can actually create something interesting with the shoes. So here they are there. These are 3D printed gibbets. Uh, so we'll just take these guys out, put them on the shoe and we'll come right back. And here are the gibbets. So we'll start with this guy. They're really actually nicely detailed. These are 3D printed and this is the Guggenheim Museum. Here's the Brooklyn Bridge. The Pan Am building actually says Pan Am building right there, but this is uh, what's known as the MetLife building today. The Statue of Liberty, like I said, very detailed. Even the torch is uh, nicely 3D printed. The globe from Flushing Meadows Park, Empire State Building, and the arc from Washington Square Park. And so let's put these guys in here so we can test them out. So. They just really just attach to these holes and because it's such a flexible shoe, you can just push them right in. So we would put these guys in here. Based off the press release, Rob, who is one of the co-founders of A-Life, he wanted to create walkable objects and just really art pieces that you can not just wear, but also display if you wanted to. So again, these are $600. We don't expect anyone to be wearing these, but you can if you wanted to wear them as art, or you can just display these guys. With this guy, put them here, we can kind of bridge the two together. Obviously this is Manhattan and that's Brooklyn, if you kind of consider it that way since the 
Brooklyn Bridge does connect Manhattan and Brooklyn. Um, there are no Brooklyn landmarks in here, but there is this guy from Flushing Meadows, which is in Queens. So uh, as I mentioned, again, this guy, very, very cool. You can, um, you know, put this guy up on your shelf as a art piece, or if you want to, you can actually walk around with this, with these gibbets uh, on your feet, uh, which would be amazing. Uh, it would be a very, very expensive pair of Crocs that you would wear. So if you guys are getting these, uh, these do release on June 14th in three versions. Uh, this is the art version. There is a sport version, which has a sock, and there is the classic, which has a life across um, uh, the toe here, which is very similar to this pair, but um, this pair comes with all these uh, art pieces. If you guys like this video, make sure you like it, make sure you share it, make sure you tell your friends, leave us a comment about what you guys think about this uh, collaboration. Are you guys surprised A-Life being one of the godfathers of the streetwear scene to collab with Crocs? There has been a lot of rumors about potentially Supreme doing a collab, uh, Bape doing a collab, The Hundreds doing a collab. Would you guys like to see another streetwear brand do a collab? Or would you guys like to see possibly one of the luxury brands do a collab with these guys? I'm sure now that A-Life have tested the waters and made it acceptable to do a collab with Crocs, I'm sure we're gonna start seeing all you customizers out there painting or at least customizing some Crocs out there. So if you guys do that, please make sure to share it with us so that we can see it. Again, like this video, comment, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down there and we'll see you guys next time.